Mims? It's the Mims. I mean, I don't know. It's M-I-M-S, okay? I'm always, like, screwing names up, so I don't know. I was just reading it like, Mims is Mims, right? It's a Mims full Dur 9, okay, never mind. 9 CR 18. And what is it? It is 8 inches overall length. It's a drop point, it's flat grind, it's a send cut design, so it's in-house design here. Tip up, ambidextrous carry, liner lock, flat grind, natural G10, and you can get it in any color you want, or whatever, almost. As long as you like these particular, you know, variations. So, send cut, I've been digging the send cut. You not be digging the send cut? Okay, you want a Civivi knife? Okay, take the Civivi knife, cut the price in half. Here you go. Got the same damn knife. <laughs> Almost. And you're not really cutting the price in half. It depends. Some of the Civivi knives are like 50 something dollars, blah, blah, blah. But this one's 46. What's this? 46, 47 bucks. 10% White Mountain Knives. Okay. LTK is the discount code, 10% off. That's almost five bucks off. So you're in the lower 40s. Oh, by the way, what do you pay for shipping? Zero. What do you pay for tax? Zero. Okay, so what do you actually pay for it to your door? What, 43 bucks? That's it. That's it. Okay, an eight inch long knife, natural G10, nice satin grind, ceramic bearings. Okay. Uh, number eight body screws, probably. Come on, get over here. Number eight body screws, of course. Of course, you get all the luxury equipment with these knives that you might otherwise not get from a similarly priced or double the price knife, right? Um, and you know, this does kind of plane out a little bit, so we good there. Look at that deep carry. Not too shabby. We can switch that deep carry over on this side. And then we cut out around this scale here. So when you put your lanyard, if you want to run a lanyard through it, then it gives allowance for the thickness of the lanyard when you lay it down. You know, like that. Whatever. So that's good. And you got a cutaway here. Can you finger flick it? I don't know. Does a bear do certain things in the woods? Yeah, that bear will shit in the woods. And this one, it definitely has a cutout. And flipper tab. And a jump, 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 jump. And flip. So, okay, hold on. We got a flipper. We got a finger flicker. This is nice and fidget friendly. And it seems like it's really easy to disengage. And it's jumped along here. Disengage. There's your lockup. That's 30%. You, you're not bad. Hit your thumb. Boom. Okay. And we'll take it apart. We'll probably loosen it up a little bit. It seems like it's uh, not truly hydraulic, but it's pretty acceptable the way it is out of the box. Don't you think? Look at that uh, blade shape. That's that kind of leaf looking blade shape. That piercing, slicing. Fairly thin blade stock kind of comes, what is that, coming back out? Or is it just retaining the thickness and then coming in here? Almost looks like it gets a little thinner and then comes back out, but I think that's optical illusion to me. But now this would be, you know, you could get up, pick the label off of this, bink, 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 bink. But you could also have full-size slicing, right? Now, don't do it with soft French cheese or something because it'll squish in here. I know people that so cut out, eh, they're a blessing and a curse. Okay, I get you, I get you. But if you're cutting rope, cardboard, other types of things, no problemo. So, and get that out of here for a minute. How thick is it? Ooh, 11.9. That's pretty thin. 0.46. No fatter than your uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 2. And 0.1. That's a pretty 2.6 millimeter blade stock. So fairly thin blade stock. They are not nested liners, right? So they're loud and proud right there. And look at it. They're skeletonized all to hell. 
and ceramic bearings and look at those standoffs did those come from hinderer what those are huge just kidding okay but i'm just saying um, just get you going just trying to get you going cause problems for everybody no no but grams 103 oop they had just kept it below 100 and so you know this thing doesn't weigh that much right come on gently 3.6 okay 3.65 shit that's all right uh, now give me this okay what are we gonna do oh doing the damage doing the damage i told you this blade shape would sh would cut shave shave cut and it will too man Whew. dog dog i got a big pile of shaved paper over there just big chunks um yeah so this cuts good too oh by the way you get it in a box amazing and what does it say it says it's natural all natural you can eat it bathe in it whatever you want and you can oh and you could dye this thing any color you want you want to make it purple like my situs look at this situs i had um the other mate to this it was called appenda and then this is the situs oh okay and this is the and they're about the same size as the twins the appendicitis twins and uh this is the situs actually and so mims wow that's interesting isn't it i've been using this dog all over because i brutalize my send cut knives um and you know why no because ostap l designed it and uh, you know i got a thing against him so no i'm just kidding no but these these are so affordable i'm gonna see him in Atlanta if he watches this i'm gonna get my ass kicked okay so but you know what um i got junk on this blade what the hell is that that's just garbage too yeah probably coffee i dripped on it or some shit but this thing oh, i love this design you guys have one and get it purple you don't have to dye it then I got a diet. I got to lose weight diet. That's the thing. Okay, now. Blue. You get a big blue sand cut. The, and you get sticker, sticker, paperwork. What more do you want? It's only 43 bucks net. What the hell? Um, uh, they're so cheap. I got the Citus and the Mims. I'm keeping my sand cuts around. I usually don't get rid of them unless I give it away. You know, sometimes I'll get a guy who comes over and does some jobs for me and this and that around the house. So, you know, the wife, she always wants to give my shit away. and says, go oh, get him a knife. I think you could use a knife. So I bring out about six different knives and one of these might be one of them because I ain't going to give him no $300 damn knife, okay? But, and, you know, that's the only way any of these might disappear. I ain't selling them. Ain't no point okay uh, but they are good little users they just are what the hell and then i love the design and you know it's joe over there we knives that's doing this okay but they have collaborative designers as well but he he's a great designer on his own but the yeah the ergos are great reverse grip no blade play lock rock nothing lockups good centered I mean, as far as making a budget knife, come on, man. These are good. I mean, these are just good. And hold your horses. Oh, hold your horses. Of course, we've got we number eight in the front, number eight in the back. So it doesn't matter if it's got a captured pivot. Nope. Nope. Because you can hold it from either end. So you can break it loose. And I don't know what I want to do with this. If I'm going to break it loose from the front or the back, and I'm going to turn it both ways, aren't I? But that's okay. I don't care. I can bust her loose. Not a problem. Let's get a number eight on this side. Oh, yeah. We got bubble gum. Hey, bubble gum, are you a number eight? Yeah, you are. Okay. So we'll get bubble gum on one side and this on the other, and we'll bust it loose. And there we go. Um... 
And we got number eight. Classy. Like having a power moon roof, baby. And get this natural G10 out. And see, I'm saving the environment. Only natural products on this review. And <laughs> good stuff. Yeah, here we go. Is that skeletonized? Baby, there's almost nothing left. Whew. How thick is this, by the way? Now that I'm just contemplating it. Uh, 1.2 millimeter. Okay, that's not bad. That's, that's Actually, that's pretty good. Um, there's ceramic bearings all over the damn place. So we got that and that. And there, there went our blade stop. And no, it's not a captured pivot, but who gives a rat's butt? Because it's not a problem. Uh, you can bust it loose both ways. It's only when they do a, you know, a front screw thing, you know, with their logo on it, with their logo on it, and you can't get in there, and then the whole damn thing spins from the back, and you got no way of stopping it. But in this case, yeah, you can stop it, so it's not a problem. Deep carry pocket clip, left hand or right hand, as you see, okay? We all good here. Lightweight, easy ear goes, and uh, looks full size, and uh, she's slicey. Baby, mim me. It's the mims. Mims the word, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> mims, it's the mims. I'm, I'm going to find out it's mimes or memes or God only knows. Okay, I don't care. It's a knife. You can afford it. Thank God you can afford something these days. And you know what? This is a damn nice little knife. I think the blade shape and everything are fine. And you know what's going to... We're going to have the Sidus to lay down beside us, right? So the Mims, the Sidus, I got all kinds of sin cut knives back there. It's insane. And I do like them. You, in Atlanta, if you go to Atlanta 2023, guess what table I'm going to be at? I'm going to be over at Sandcut buying new Sandcut knives. Because I can afford them and I don't have to stand in line to pay $1,500 for some crazy fanboy knife. Oh, uh, We do love them knives. You guys, stay sharp.